This is Tim Gallagher of the Sioux City Journal. I am at the Sawyer Center, part of Grace United Methodist Church in Marcus, and I am with Gina Rassel. And your title here, Gina? Ministries Coordinator. Okay. We are actually in kind of the crow's nest area or the box seating, box seating. for the Sawyer Center, which is named for the late Sawyer Levitt who was uh, in high school in September 2011 when he died in an auto accident. And then through family members of his and church members, uh, there arose kind of a, I guess, a, a financial drive and a challenge. Right, a building campaign. A building campaign right. that, that rose in his right. memory. Right, he actually was on a committee that had, had dreamt of this. Uh, when he and uh, when he was never, in high school, never, right when he was young in high school, I'd probably say he was eighth grade or a freshman, right after he was confirmed, and it never came to be, and it just wasn't time. God didn't mm -hmm. want it built at that time, and now we felt like God was was moving and wanted it to be built, and when it came time for a name, uh, nobody could really come up with a good name. And one of the gentlemen on the building committee, which is also Sawyer's cousin, came up with the idea mm -hmm. and approached the family. And after a lot of discussion, and we had to have it approved through our conference, mm -hmm. that's what it came to be. Okay. Very appropriately. And it opens Friday with Godspell? Correct. And uh, Friday at 7? Seven? 7. Saturday at 2? Two. Two. You're not taking tickets. No. What are we doing? A free will donation. And the free will donations uh, will not go to future anything as far as like building of the Sawyer Center, but it's going to go for youth programming in the area, not only in Marcus, but in the MMC school district. We have lots of cast members from all different congregations and uh, communities in the, in the Marcus and the Meriden and Cleghorn area, and we want to do whatever we can to draw youth to Christ. And this will this is connected to Grace United Methodist Church. Correct. So it's a basketball court, volleyball court, activity court. Uh, it's got the stage. And actually this little crow's nest area is connected to, would this be a youth or a meeting room, Gina? Yes. Okay. And it, it doesn't have everything all completed yet. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course we have the nice TV and the, mm -hmm. the comfy couches. Eventually there's going to be like a little kitchenette over in this corner so they can have their pizzas and microwave popcorn and their uh, soft drinks and, uh -huh. and energy drinks over there. And uh, just a, a fun place where they can come and hang out and call it their own. Okay. And then if we head downstairs... Oh, but I didn't show you the media room. Oh, this is okay. This media room up here in another little storage area. Oh, it's locked. Oh. Shoot, sorry. That is where we can run all the sound and all the video uh, equipment. Okay. But what's really nice is with technology, we can also start it up here, but with a tablet, we can also be down um, on the main floor and be controlling everything down there as okay. well. Okay. Here is the ground floor. We'll take a look real quick at the uh, foyer. The Sawyer Center, dedicated March 20, 2016. And there is a look at uh, Sawyer Levitt. Uh, what was his nickname? Flounder. Flounder, that's it, okay. And then the, uh, the ground floor meeting room or fireplace room. Fireplace we room, yes. Name for it yet. <laughs> it's where the cast is getting ready for God's spell, so it's a little in disarray uh -huh. right now, but uh, it's the fireplace mm -hmm. that uh, kind of just came to be with leftovers, I guess, of mm -hmm. things that from the outside of the building and a door that didn't work that they turned into a mantle huh. and, and uh, 
And then uh, some stained glass. Stained glass from the, the church that was made by a past uh, minister here and uh, is a memorial of two uh, special women that left money to the church and we made those in their memory. So Fantastic. Yeah. The Sawyer Center, the first building project at Grace in how long? Um, 40 years? I would say so, oh, longer than that. Okay. Uh, the church was built in the 60s, mm -hmm. and nothing has been added on since the original building was, was okay. built. So. Job well done, yeah. Gina and congregation. And, uh, Jeff and God. <laughs> okay. Friday, 7 o'clock, Godspell, Saturday, 2 p.m., the opening of the Sawyer Center at Grace United Methodist Church in Marcus, Iowa.